Welcome. Welcome to the City 17. You have chosen or been chosen to relocate to one of our finest remaining urban centers. I thought so much of City 17 that I elected to establish Dr. My administration here. I was hoping I'd seen the last of him in City 14. So provided I wouldn't by say that our too loud. This is his base of operations. I've been proud to City 17 in my home. And so, whether you are here to stay or passing through on your way to parts unknown, welcome to City 17. It's safer here. Be a mistake. I got a standard relocation coupon just like everybody else. About that beer I owed you. It's me, Gordon. Barney from Black Mesa. Hey, sorry for the scare. I had to put on a show for the cameras. I've been working undercover with Civil Protection. I can't take too long or they'll get suspicious. I'm way behind on my beating quota. Yes, Barney, what is it? I'm in the middle of a critical test. Sorry, Doc, but look who's here. Great Scott! Gordon Freeman! I expected more warning. Yeah, you and me both, Doc. He was about to board the express to Nova Prospect. Well, Barney, what do you intend? I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Alex is around here somewhere. She would have a better idea how to get him here. Well, as long as he stays away from checkpoints, we should be okay. Listen, I gotta go, Doc. We're taking enough chances as it is. Very well. And, uh, Gordon, good to see you. Okay, Gordon. You're gonna have to make your own way to Dr. Kleiner's lab. Oh, man, that's what I was afraid of. Get in here, Gordon, before you blow my cover. Pile up some stuff to get through that window and keep going till you're in the plaza. I'll meet up with you later. Fit to suppress our reproductive gives them the right to make this kind of decision for mankind. Will they ever deactivate the suppression field and again? Allow me 
to address the anxiety underlying your concern rather than try to answer every possible question you might have had on voice. Let us consider the fact that for the first time ever, as a species, immortality is in our reach. This simple fact has far-reaching implications. It requires radical rethinking and revision of our genetic imperatives. It also requires planning and forethought that run in direct opposition to our neural peace. I find it helpful at times like these to remind myself that our true enemy is a person. Instinct was our mother when we were an infant species. Instinct coddled us and kept us safe in those hard scrabble years when we hardened our sticks and cooked our first meals above a meager fire we can't and started at the shadows that leapt upon the cavern's walls. But inseparable from instinct is its dark corner, superstition. Instinct is inextricably bound to unreasoning impulse and pain. starts. First the building, then the whole block. They have no reason to come to our place. Don't worry, they'll find one. Oh, I thought you were a cop. He's one of us. I told you they'd be coming for us next. This is what I hope you're wrong. I can't take it anymore. Everything's gonna be okay. What are we going to do? When is it all going to end? Please. It's all right. First, let us consider the fact that for the first time ever. Attention, residents. Miscount detected in your blocks. Hey, you! Cooperation hey, with your civil protection. Head for the roof. There's no time for to lose. Hey, 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 hey. Attention, please. Run for your life! Get in here, quick! Keep moving, head for the roof!
you don't. <laughs> Dr. Freeman, I presume. You better hurry. The Combine can be slow to wake, but once they're up, you don't want to get in their way. Dr. Kleiner said you'd be coming this way. <laughs> I don't think it occurred to him that you might not have a map. I'm Alex Vance. My father worked with you back in Black Mesa. <laughs> I'm sure he don't remember me, though. And a few words, aren't you? Remember him from Black Mesa? Your old administrator. <laughs> Don't get my dad started on Dr. Breen. Through here. Funny you showing up on this day in particular. We've been helping people escape the city on foot. It's a dangerous route to my father's lab through the old canals. Today, we're finally on the verge of having a better way. <laughs> Here, let me buy you a drink. Oh, and by the way, nice to finally meet you. Blast that little... Where did she get to? Lamar, come out of there! Uh-oh, everything all right, Dr. Kleiner? Oh, uh, hello, Alex. Well, uh, almost all right. Lamar has gotten out of her crate again. If I didn't know better, I'd suspect Barney of trapping and... My goodness, Gordon Freeman. It really is you, isn't it? I found him wandering around outside. Bit of a troublemaker, isn't he? We owe a great deal to Dr. Freeman, even if trouble does tend to follow in his wake. I must say, Gordon, you come at a very opportune time. Alex has just installed the final piece for our resurrected teleport. I can't take any credit for the breakthrough, Doctor. Nonsense. Your talents surpass your loveliness. <laughs> Let's just see if this thing works, okay? Well, is he here? There you are. Man, Gordon, you stirred up the hive. We can't keep him here long, Doc. It'll jeopardize everything we've worked for. Don't worry. He's coming with me. Uh, that's right, Barney. This is a red-letter day. We'll inaugurate the new teleport with a double transmission. You mean it's working? For real this time? Because I still have nightmares about that cat. No, no. There's nothing to be nervous what about. Cat? We've made major strides since then. Major strides. What cat? Doc, since he's not taking the streets, you might as well get him out of his civvies. What? Oh, dear. You're right. I almost forgot. Barney, I'll give you the honor. <laughs> I've got to get back on my ship, but okay. Here we go. Ah! Damn it, get it off me! Lamar, there you are. I thought you got rid of that pest. Certainly not. Never fear, Gordon. She's de-beaked and completely harmless. The worst she might do is attempt to couple your head fruitlessly. Get that thing away from me. Here, yeah, my pet. Up, up. No, not up there. No, no. Careful, Lamar. Those are quite fragile. Oh, fine. It'll be another week before I can coax her out of there. Yeah, longer if we're lucky. <laughs> Barney, you're not an animal person. Yeah. Well, Gordon, I see your HEV suit still fits you like a glove. At least, the glove parts do. I've made a few modifications, but I'll just acquaint you with the essentials. Now, let's see. 
The Mark V hazardous environment suit has been redesigned for comfort and utility. Oh dear. Doc, we don't have time for this. At least get that suit juiced up, Gordon. Good idea. There's a charger on the wall. I've modified your suit to draw power from combine energy outlets, which are plentiful wherever they patrol. Meanwhile, let's get this show on the road. Position yourself near the panel over there and wait for my word. Isaac, are you there? Yes, yes, Eli. Bit of a hold up on this end. You'll never guess who found his way into our lab this morning. Uh, that's not who I think it is. Indeed, it is. And it's our intention to send him packing straight away in the company of your lovely daughter. Are you ready for us, Dad? We're all set on this end. Then let's do it. Let's see. This field flux should self-limit, and I've clamped the metaphor capacitors to this. There is an LT orbifold in over the Conditions could hardly be more ideal. That's what you said last time. Hey, uh, yeah, about that cat. Visualizing in three, two, one. So, fiddlesticks, what now? Uh, Doctor, the plug. Uh, dear me, you're right. Gordon. Would you mind plugging? Excellent. You gonna let Gordon throw the switch? Gordon, go right ahead. The switch, Dr. Freeman. Did it work? See for yourself. Hey, Doc. Oh, thank goodness. My relief is almost palpable. Fantastic work, is it? Well, I can't take all the credit. Dr. Freeman proved an able assistant. Let's go ahead and bring Gordon through now. Right you are. Speak to you again in a few moments. Good job, Gordon. Throwing that switch and all. I can see your MIT education really pays for itself. All right, Barney. Your turn. Gee, thanks. Gordon, as soon as you're in position, we'll send you to Eli's. And not a moment too soon. Excellent. Initializing in three, two, one. Uh, Barney, if you'll be so kind. Good luck out there, Gordon. Yes, indeed. We're ready to project you, Gordon. Bon voyage, and best of luck in your future endeavors. Final sequence. What the hell? What is it? It's your pet, the freaking head hopper! Ready? Go down! There he is! It's the bar with him! Forget about that thing! He's coming through, Dad! What's going on? I'm not sure. It seems to be some kind of interference. Gordon, stay put! He'll get you out of there! Something is drawing him away! What's the meaning of this? Who are you? How did you get in here? They think he's back! certain it was Gordon Freeman. He didn't come through. Then where is he? Behind you. Shut it down. Shut it down. Gordon, you must get out of here. Get down out of sight. I'll come find you. <laughs> 